Aren't you going to lock it? Well, what do we care if a bit of your hay gets nicked? So that's what's in there, is it? Well, you're the farmer, Kane. You tell me. Open it. Open it. Lock it. Make your minds up. Sort of on the clock here. You'll be on your back in a minute, both of you. <laughs> in your dreams. Come on. <sighs> wow. Look at all that hay. It's murder trying to find somewhere to park. And finding somewhere to stash my extensive collection of hand blenders. I think you'd have to park it somewhere else. Um, except Moira. You know Moira, she, she owns this place. Well, what she says goes, and she says that we can keep whatever we want up here. She ain't quite got around to telling you yet, has she? Right. I'm going to work now, and if that is still here when I get back, it's going up in flames. Kerry's not here today, and uh, Rishi will have a go at us if I don't crack on. <laughs> You'll have me on it, you regardless. I've got a trade show to go to this afternoon in Manchester. So there's a lot to do before I go. Right, well, I'll get on then. Oh, Rishi, have you had any more thoughts about buying ours? A couple. I'll see you about it later, then. <clears throat> I, uh, may have exaggerated some of what I told you about our place. I did wonder. Hey, I understand it's your family home. And you've lived there all your life, right? Yeah, I was born there. And I know if it has to be sold, then it has to be sold. And I can't just keep spinning the same stories to everyone who comes, can I? I think you'd get bored. Yeah, I'm just gonna concentrate on me, learn to rely on myself, work hard and see where it takes me. It'll take you to the trade show today if you want. What, really? Do you want to? Oh, yeah, of course I do. And it's done. I like the attitude. Ooh. Then get off. You could help. Ah, oh, finally! Morning, Mr. Afkos Nan on his birthday. Uh, happy happy birthday. birthday! Seen your banner in the house? No. Oh, there we go. Just turned 13 and teenage mode's kicked in already. <laughs> <laughs> got something planned for you. Yeah, I know. My mum's coming and I've got something planned as well. I'm going to tell her everything. Tell her everything about what? No, your mum's not coming. Yes, she is. You said you'd get her to. And today's my birthday, so it's obvious. You can drop the big surprise act. Oh, mate, I'm so sorry. That wasn't the surprise. Look, your mum will be coming, but that's not today. You got that wrong. And can you not speak to us like that? Oh, shall I speak to you like you speak to each other? I love you. What? Yesterday. What's with the phone call? I thought you'd be at work. I'm setting off in a minute, Charity. You do know you just call me Charity, right? Well, that's what you're trying to be, isn't it? So you know about the arrangement? Didn't think I'd find out, did you? Oh, I suppose I hoped. A truckload of stolen gear in a barn. Which they're paying a hefty fee for. And which you're going to give straight to Holly's dealer after telling me to leave it. I'm dealing with it in my own you're way. You're dealing with it no way. He won't let up, I've told you that. Well, that doesn't help my girl much, does it? And lining his pockets does. Well, it keeps him away and that keeps her clean. Mara, it would do neither. Addiction doesn't disappear because you take away one way of feeding it. I learnt that growing up with Shadrach. I don't know what else I can do. I'm scared to find out. I mean, just how far will you go to help her? Just how far would you go to help Debbie? Well, I've not bought drugs down an alley or paid off dealers. It's because Debbie's strong. Holly isn't. Yeah, I know that. She's halfway to being completely addled. She's weak. And she's a, a liar and a thief. And she'll say and do whatever she needs to to get what she wants. But she's my daughter and I love her. I couldn't love her more. So I will do whatever it takes for as long as need be to make sure that she's okay. All right. I'll see to it. Oh, Kane, I don't want you getting involved. Well, I'm getting involved. So deal with it. Trust me. 
I won't do anything stupid. Uh, so, yeah, I'll give the, the lawns a quick going over, if you like. Mm -hmm. They don't seem so bad to me. Oh, no, they need it desperately. It's barely spring. Anyway, I thought you were just security. <laughs> I can work a mower, though. How impressive. Coffee? Oh, yes, please. Can I have two sugars? I think I need the energy. Chrissy. Go and bang the front door and slip upstairs. Your dad's still here. Yeah, but he's not in my bedroom, is he? My divorce is moving forward and I, I want to celebrate. You want to get caught? Is that what you want? Why don't you live dangerously? Well, I already feel like I am. Your dad would be wondering where I am if I'm not out there now. Later, then. I've got to work and I've got Vic's birthday drinks tonight, so... I'll... I'll try and slip off early. Look of you. To apologise for earlier. Have we spoken tomorrow? Apology, no. I've spoken tomorrow, yes. What do you want? Those keys for that van for a starter. Not at me. Yes, it is. Here we are. And here you are. Look, I can buy you a brew, can't I? Yeah, Mum, and I can buy you one. You're going to need all the money for the move, so. Is this you trying to talk me out of it? No, I'm just accepting life moves on. Well, it does, but not today, eh? <laughs> ah, great minds. Are you OK to get those glasses from Chaz, yes? Uh, yeah. Oh, we're taking the cordials as well now. Oh! Do you think I should knock up some of Granny Clegg's leaflets on the printer or will it look a bit...? I'm sure you'd have it looking great. But let's use word of mouth today. OK. Thank you for taking her to the trade show, Rishi. Not at all. She'd be extremely useful. <gasps> oh, Belle. You finish college this summer, right? Uh, yeah, I do. Would you like to stay on? Not really. I'd rather be working. What if you could do both? A course that complements your job. Well, is there a course in stuffing sweets into boxes? They do them on business management. What are you saying? Trainee. That... Very much a trainee manager, to begin with at least. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Think about it, eh? Wow, OK. <laughs> 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 Happy birthday! Thanks for coming. It's all right. I've nothing else to do. On this wonderful day? I find that hard to believe. <sighs> Plans have fallen through, haven't they? Mum's not coming. Oh. Well, I'm sure she will soon. Go on. Inside. Just finish up here. Sorry about the ambush. Jay, 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 hang on, hang on a second. My dad told me about the booking you made for me and your mum. I'm sorry. Get off my arm. You've got all this wrong. I got you wrong. No, no, no. Listen to me, please. Now, what it must have looked like seeing us like that, Layla fumbling with me down below and taking pictures and that, it must have looked weird, right? Pictures? What do you mean, fumbling? Well, that's not what you saw. No. Hey, you couple of weirdos. I got your present. Bin it, you traitor. Oh, at last. Someone. Do us a favour, will you? Doubtful. What? Give us a hand with these. It's killing my back getting up and down in there. Well, that'll be because you're old. Yeah, probably. Well, struggle. Oh, come on. It's, it's only going to take a few minutes. Well, no, it won't, because I'm not doing it. Put them on your stair lift, you geriatric. What are you doing? Get off me! Jane! Get off me! What are you doing? Stop! Open it! Open the door! Please, stop! Come on! No, you are in so much trouble and you're dragging your mum into it and I'm not having it. Have you got your phone? Yes, I have. And I'm calling the police. No. You call in your greedy boyfriend. You call anybody else, and I'm going to run this straight into a wall with you in the back of the van. Right? Right? Yes, right! 
OK. Good. Now, I'm going to tell you what to say. Hiya, this is Charity Dingle from Home Dreams Haulage. Yeah, I've just seen one of my trucks get stolen. For me then, Tarches. Yeah, just give me a sec. Thank you. Do you want a drink, Andy? Yeah, I can always help you spend your money. Oh, my two brothers almost getting on. Nicest present a girl could have. What'll it be? Fine, please. Yeah, shaking things up. Had enough of the shop, have you? Um, not really, no. Just we've been here. I've just started a pint. I'm not your slave, Charity. Well, why didn't you say? Can you cancel that bottle of champagne I ordered? Yeah. It's not like I order it in special, love, so it's not so much cancelling it as just not getting the bottle out. Right, well, just don't get it out, OK? OK. Jake? Move. No. I'll move you. Well, go on, then. Jake, come here. I'm going to talk and you are going to listen. Wow. <laughs> Hi. Is Holly with you? No, no, I've not seen her. Why? Is everything OK? <sighs> She's not answering her phone. Neither's keen. I try to tell myself it's just a coincidence. You need to get a bus pass because you obviously can't drive. I'm black and blue. Well, maybe you shouldn't stick needles in your arm. Oh, you know nothing about that! You've really hurt me. Go and sit in the front. Holly, get in the front. Somewhere I need to be. Yeah, well, I've told you where to be. What a loser you are. Well, what can I say? When I was a kid, I wanted to grow up to be a junkie dealer thief, just like you. But, hey, things don't always turn out, do oh, they? Oh, yeah, well, look at you, Kane flipping Zuckerberg. Shut up. Oh, dear, does Kane not like it? Look, I'm trying to help you out here. Now, please, go and sit in the front of that van. Oh, you all right, babe? you got a bit of a wobble on there. Oh, yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Got a big party, have you? Er, uh, trade show. Sure you don't want hand? No, it's all right. Ow. That's good timing. Why are you taking the mic? Well, no. I'm a doctor. <sighs> Let me have a look. <sighs> oh, dear me. It's definitely an amputation job. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's get sorted. There you go. Seeing as your family. Am I? Well, yeah, your husband is my brother's stepson. But you know, if you don't think that counts... Oh. No! Oh. It, it counts. It definitely counts. <laughs> Well, actually, it's a uh, private party, so... Yeah, in a public house. Sit down, I'll get you a drink. Ooh, I've got this. Yeah, but we've got these. You need to catch up. Oh, I'll get the crisps, then. No cheese and onion. Oh, well remembered. Bog. Oh, lovely. <laughs> oh, what now? Them two. Well, he's been there. Oh, everyone's turning on the charm today. Look, see, they get on. Yeah, they used to, but then it got messy, didn't it, when he started stamping property of Andy all over her? Well, he is past that now, and he's been single for way too long. I'm going to do some matchmaking, and you're going to help. <sighs> you're just saying all this so long, didn't you and Layla are together? Jack. It's just a lump, right? It's going to be fine. They often are. And what about when they're not? This'll be just some irritating little infection or something. And I'll feel silly this time next week for worrying about it. OK? Cheers. 
Martin ever said you were involved in this? Well, I am. We didn't give you a load of cash for you to come back scrounging for more. You didn't give it to me at all. Your wife did. Why you just stood there like this? So is you asking for it back? Good luck. If I wanted it back, you'd be hanging upside down with your pockets empty right now. Is that what you think? I'd be using them to hit you with. Now, in that van, there's loads of electrical stuff. Blenders, juicers, iPod docks, all sorts. It's yours. Nicked? No. I had an Argos voucher. And you're doing this why? Because it suits me. On this occasion. What's the catch? The only catch is, if you ever ask her for anything again, I'll be bringing me mop to clean up what's left of you afterwards. And their stack's over there. Are you seriously a doctor? It would be a bit weird me carrying all this around if I wasn't. I'm Jermaine, by the way. Well, is this what you do? You wander the streets looking for idiots who avert themselves? <laughs> I've been in to see a patient. So is this what you do, then? Wander the streets with boxes of glasses piled high? Mm. I'm off to a trade show. Oh. OK. Yeah, I have uh, my own little business. Speciality cordials. Ow! Oh, sorry. I'll let you off. So, Michelle Cordials. Hi, Rishi. Uh, yeah, I'm nearly ready. Actually, I've hurt my hands. So I don't think I'm going to make it. Oh, just give me two minutes. You'll have full use of it. I've cut it pretty deep on a glass. You'll manage without me, though, yeah? OK, cool. Have a good one. It's really not so bad, you know. Well, it's better not to risk it. No coppers hiding in there, are they? I didn't check. Why don't you take a look? You drive the car back, yeah? Oh, I've decided to say hello, have we? Get back in the van. You'll be in another van if you fall for this. A police van. Will I now? He's setting you up. I don't know how, but he is, I swear. That's hurtful. Well, it would be if it was true. Why is she saying it, then? Because I know what he's like. And you know what she's like. When was the last time you trusted her? What's the matter with you, eh? Me? I'm halfway to being adult. I thought you knew. Oh, I get it. I hurt your feelings, so you're going to ruin your life on the strength of it. Again. I had him off your back. I don't think she wants me off her back, do you, Holly? Why don't you do one? I will. Want to come? No, she doesn't. You come with me and you can do what you like. You go with him and what? You live like a kid at your mum's again. Well, at least she lives. Yeah, but it's not really living, though, is it, Holes? Tell me we didn't have a good time. Could be the same again better, and all your needs catered for. So isn't the drinks business a crowded marketplace? Oh, well, yeah, but this is good stuff. Mm. i have to check it out. <sighs> Weird name, though, Granny Cleggs. Distant family member. Oh, it's your business? Well, I have partners. You know, like the guy who rung me. These things need investment and time, and obviously I don't have a lot because I'm studying, so... I don't even know how someone gets into that. Mm. So what are you doing at uni? There's not a degree in old-fashioned cordials, that's for sure. <laughs> well, it would probably be of more use than some they offer. Yeah, tell me about it. You know, you, you really shouldn't be driving. Are you based nearby? Uh, good point. Yeah, I am. Do you want a lift? Yeah. It's up to you, Holly. 
But Encania seems like a real treat to be around, so I can see why you're undecided. He's just a no mark. Ooh, my mistake. Slags me off like he knows the first thing about my life. Well, I do, believe me. And he turns my mum against me as well. I heard her earlier. She's weak, she's pathetic. Did you hear what she said after? I'd heard enough by then, thanks. Holly, we're all standing here in front of a van full of stolen goods. I need to go. Wait! Go. Oh, I'll let go soon enough. When I put her in the boot of the car. I'm not going in the boot. You'll go wherever I tell you to go. Ah. I'll have those keys back. Could have just asked. And I'll have that money that we agreed. You what? Two grand. Well, obviously, you don't have it on you now, but you'll get it. I know. You've not got a chance. Holly hopes you're wrong. Because Chunks here is going to give you a little demonstration of just some of the things he'll do to her if you don't. <laughs> We're back in Emmerdale in half an hour.